What a, what a, what a move by Howie Roseman, whoa! Yo everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bad here again. What do you mean again? Well, let me tell you, this is part two of my video. That's right, part two. I already did part one, you just haven't seen it yet. There was a bit of a disaster in part one, so I had to stop, do something, then hit part two. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to do two things. One, I wanted to talk about the Eli Manning getting benched thing because I think that's atrocious. And then two, this video was going to actually be me telling you who I voted for today in the Pro Bowl balloting for the Eagles. And then I wanted to give you my prediction of which Eagles I actually think will make it when all the votes are counted in the Pro Bowl. So that's what I wanted to do, but part one got screwed up. And if you're wondering what the hell happened, let me just show you. Take a look at this. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bad here. Now, today I... Oh, wait, I got a text. What, are you kidding me? You kidding me? That's just great. Stupid. How am I going to do... It? Hmm. We're out of eggnog. We're all out of eggnog. How am I supposed to do a video where I eggnog? Now I gotta go to the store and get eggnog. But I have this video I'm supposed to do, but how am I supposed to do it? I can't do the video, I gotta go get eggnog. So I'll say this. Let's talk about the Giants real quick. The Giants just benched Eli Manning. Why? Because their coach is a moron. He's a dingbat. Why would you... Why would you... I can't think well I eggnog. I, I I just can't. Why would you bench Eli Manning? Seriously. What the hell? I just put my jacket on backwards. I'm all screwed up here. Anyways. What the hell? Come on, what side is the right side here? God, I can't get right. Anyways, the coach of the Giants is a dingbat. He's got his hair all slicked back, right? He's trying, he thinks he's all fancy, and he's going to bench Eli Manning for Geno Smith. They know what they have in Geno Smith. What are they looking at Geno Smith for? I know you want to tank. I get that idea that you want to tank, but to treat Eli Manning like that, my opinion, I'm sorry. I don't care if they asked Eli. I think that is wrong. I think that Eli Manning deserves better than that after winning Super Bowl, you know? They're winning two Super Bowls. I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but the Giants, man, they, they got the problem that we had. They have the Chip Kelly problem. They got to get rid of the coach because the coach is a dingbat. And as long as they keep him, they're going to lose. They're going to lose everything. So if I'm the Giants, I fire the guy because he's the biggest problem. What is he, blaming Eli Manning now? I don't understand. I don't like the coach. Never did. And I think it's disrespectful. But I don't know. I'll be back later with my regular video. I got to go buy eggnog. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a thing. So you see, very, 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 very frustrating for me. But with that said... It's eggnog time, yo. Again. So, now that I feel recharged and rejuvenated, let's get into it. Now, you heard my rant about Eli Manning. Nothing has changed since I said that. I feel bad for the guy. I watched him. He looked like he was almost going to cry. I think he's being disrespected. I think he's being treated bad. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I feel bad for you Giant fans. I feel bad that that's your coach. It reminds me of Chip Dip Kelly. To be honest with you. So good luck with all that Giant fans. Good luck with all those problems. Now yeah. one of the other things that I did today. Was I sat down and I voted for the Pro Bowl. Now, you can vote for the Pro Bowl many, many times. It just keeps letting you vote. I don't know how many times I voted. Let's say I voted 10 times, okay? So, I put my votes in, and I want to share with you how I voted. And then after that, I'm going to share with you my predictions for who I actually think will make it from the Eagles. 
Um, not every player is going to get in. It doesn't always work that way. Players that deserve to get in may not. But I do think that several Eagle players will get in, and I want to tell you which ones I predict make it. So let's start with how I voted. Okay, Let's say, like I said, I voted 10 times. So how could I put this? If, let's say, they're tallying the votes after the voting has closed, and they see Nate Sudfeld, 10 votes for the Pro Bowl, that was me. If they see Joe Walker, 10 votes for the Pro Bowl, that was me. If they say Torrey Smith, 8 votes for the Pro Bowl, that was me. If they say, I don't know, Wendell Smallwood, 10 votes for the Pro Bowl, that was me. That's right. I voted all Eagles. I didn't care. Every position I could find in Eagle, I voted for them. I voted for them to use Eagle colors, Eagle chairs, Eagle food, Eagle whatever, Eagle bird food. I didn't care. Whatever Eagle was on, I voted for him. Didn't matter if he played. I think Nick Foles probably got more votes than he ever did today. Why? Because the Eagles, they're disrespected anyways. So I'm going to stick up for them. That's how I feel. You know, I understand how it works. I know they're no, I'm not going to get in, but I voted for them all. That way, I couldn't, I couldn't be wrong about any Eagles. So I voted for all Eagles, every position. Quarterback, running back, left guard, right guard, right tackle, left tackle, center, def entire defensive line, corners, safeties, punters, kick returners, kickers, long snappers, specialists, you name it, an Eagle, I voted. That's how I voted today. That's just the way, that's the truth. That's the truth. Now, now I know how it works. I know how it works. I know they're all not going to get in. I, I understand that when they count the votes, they're going to have to take in other people's votes besides just me. I get it. But when you're a 10-1 team, you tend to send a lot of guys to the Pro Bowl. So I believe the Eagles are going to send a lot of guys to the Pro Bowl. And I'm going to give you the, my prediction of the guys who I believe are shoe-ins, okay? The shoe-ins to get in, in my opinion. Let's start at field goal kicker. Jake Elliott, he came out of nowhere. He hits that big 61-yard field goal. Everybody remembers him. He's been steady. I have him making the Pro Bowl as a field goal kicker. Then on defense, I want to start at the defensive line. I believe Fletcher Cox gets in. I think everybody thinks that. But I think Timmy Jernigan is going to get in too. When Cox got hurt, he was spectacular. I think he gets in. He got his extension. He's been great. So I got both of those guys on the defensive line getting in. I have Nigel Bradham getting in. I think Bradham will get in. I think he's been one of the most dominating linebackers this year. So I think he gets in. I think Malcolm Jenkins gets in. He's been one of the anchors, one of the leaders on that defense. I think he's a shoe in to get in. Now, there's a couple alternates on defense that I think probably deserve to get in. They may get screwed out of it, but I hope that they get in or at least recognize or there'll be a first alternate or something like that. I think Brandon Graham. I think Jalen Mills. And I think Patrick Robinson, who I think Patrick Robinson really deserves to go. But I just got this feeling he's going to get screwed over. But those three guys, I think, probably are more of an iffy whether they get in or not, even though I think they deserve it. And so we can say on defense, we have four shoe-in guys, I believe, to the Pro Bowl. Now on offense... If we start on that offensive line, we start with Lane Johnson at right tackle. I think he's one of the best right tackles in football. Soon one day he will be a left tackle. But right now as a right tackle, he's one of the most dominating. He had a few games where he wasn't his greatest. He had a concussion. But overall, I think he's been steady and dominating. Another guy, a guy that we don't hear his name much. They don't even mention it, which tells you when you don't hear an offensive lineman name that means they're doing a hell of a job Brandon Brooks has been fantastic he has been dominating and I think he deserves a pro bowl I think he's a shoo-in definitely and then I think the two guys who you probably will see you know the a lot more name recognition they'll have higher vote vote totals is Zach Ertz who has been the best tight end in football all year 
in my opinion. And he's a shoe in And it's finally nice to see him show up before December. It's beautiful. And then you have the man, the legend, the guy who leads the entire league in Pro Bowl voting, who's going to probably win the MVP and maybe the Super Bowl if we are really getting lucky. Not lucky, if he's doing his thing. But I think Carson Wentz is a shoe in Of course, he's going to lead everybody in Pro Bowl voting. So Wentz will get in. And then as far as alternates in in on offense, I think I think that maybe Kelsey gets an alternate because there's not a lot of big name centers out there and he may get a first alternate or something like that. He's been he's had a better year for himself and uh, we'll see what happens. So those are the guys I see getting in. That's what? That's four, eight, that's nine total. So I think nine players total. In review, I have I predict that Jake Elliott, Fletcher Cox, Timmy Jernigan, Nigel Bradham, Malcolm Jenkins, Carson Wentz, Zach Ertz, Brandon Brooks, and Lane Johnson. So that's nine. That's right. Yeah, I could count. Nine players I have getting the Pro Bowl. So we'll see what happens, but those are my predictions. And if I didn't mention a guy to get in, that doesn't mean I didn't vote for him because I voted for everybody. But you just know how this works in the Pro Bowl. Not everybody always gets in that deserves it. Not right away. So we'll see what happens. Those are my predictions. I'd love to hear your predictions. Please like, subscribe. If you like this video, comment. Let me know what you're thinking. I'd love to hear from you. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.